There comes a time when no one wants to be drunk. So Adam and Jamie take the four-step plan to get sober in a hurry. So far, they've tried black coffee and vigorous exercise. Before and after each, they both took a coordination test and will sift the numbers once they're done. I, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> it's been unpleasant. Even painful. Ah. And now they're down to two mythical cures that should at least be mercifully brief. The first is a face-freezing dunk in ice water. Adam's the control, so Jamie gets his eyebrows iced. I think within the pantheon of sobering up techniques, cold water is in the shock to the system category. I guess just the same way it can oh, wake you up in the morning, it's supposed to snap you out of your drunkenness. Both the boys have blown .08, but it still takes guts to take the plunge. Oh, God. Take it, take it, take it! That's it! Yeah! Jamie's either dead or just story. enjoying himself. Ah, look at him. He's like a polar bear. He's like an aquatic mammal. You ready? That feels kind of good, actually. There you go. I thought it was going to be painful, but I kind of liked it. As always, the boys run a post-cure test to collect the data. 23 seconds. Now for the fastest and nastiest myth of all. It's a simple technique that always seems to work in the movies. When I was thinking about sobering up techniques, I noticed in the movies, whenever someone's passed out drunk, somebody else goes, come on, man, wake up. Adam's feeling no pain, but that's about to change. Oh, <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> Holy bleeping bleepity bleep! Can I do that again? That was kind of fun. No, that made my head ring. It definitely took my mind off feeling crappy and drunk. But I think that's the same effect that it's like, if you feel hurt, you'd drink a little alcohol and you wouldn't care so much about being hurt. It's like the opposite effect. Here it comes. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, my god! <laughs> My hope! Oh, my God! <laughs> it's like your whole head is rubber. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. For the last time, the boys blow the bag and trace the graph. Twenty-one seconds. They're far too drunk to know what worked and what didn't. But the stats they've gathered will tell the story. Uh, 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 uh. So bring up techniques. This looks pretty slick. Is it going to help us wrap it up? In fact, it will. Let me walk you through it. This is you pre-coffee. Then you drank three cups of coffee, and your score improved. However, I was the control, and my score improved pretty much at the exact same rate. So I'd say coffee is busted. Now, here is me pre-exercise. Here is me post-exercise. That's a pretty radical improvement. But I stayed about the same, so that means it's plausible, right? I totally agree. Plausible it is. Now, you were the one that dunked your head in a bucket of ice water. Here is you before, here is you after. A uh, little lack of improvement. Mine was about the same. I say ice water is totally busted. What about the slap, my favorite? OK. <laughs> here is me pre-slap. Here's me post-slap. I think that's a pretty undeniable, radical improvement. You helped me out a lot. I'd say this one's plausible. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> the best part is all of these results are totally backed up by the breathalyzer data we got as well. I guess that does wrap it up. Totally. No more drinking for us. <laughs>